I started brewing beer, I think it was 1989, 1990. And at one point I just wondered, can you make your own beer at home? Just kind of dove into it head first and kind of never turned back, <laughs> so. This tank's called a mash tun. I think it's about 94 gallons of hot water. We're going to add malted barley to the hot water and make what we call a mash. It'll kind of have a consistency of like a porridge. So the purpose of doing that is to essentially trying to extract sugars from the grain. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna set up for the next phase in the brewing process here. So this is a sparge arm. It's gonna gently spray water over the mash. And the idea is to have the hot water make its way through the mash evenly. It's going through the entire mash and it's pulling as many sugars along the way as it can. I pretty much like all aspects of brewing, but the thing that I enjoy the most is I really enjoy developing new beers, developing recipes. You know, since I've been here, gosh, I bet we've brewed close to 30 new beers. I've just added my first edition of hops, and, and all the hops I'm using in this particular beer are, are Fuggle, which is an English variety of hops. So in the beginning, I just put about five or six ounces in so that the boil's a little more controlled. An hour from now, I'm gonna put in a few pounds. And in this particular beer, the hops primarily are gonna provide um, bitterness and a little bit of flavor. When you put hops in in the beginning of a boil, the aromatics kind of boil off in the first five or 10 minutes. So you have none of that is left. And that's why the ones that are in the longest just give you bitterness. So if you want flavor or aroma, you put in later additions into the kettle or something like this where it's either not even in the kettle. With a place like this, you know, consistency certainly is important. But there are gonna be subtle differences. So, you know, that's why this is maybe a little more of a craft. I mean, if you're passionate about brewing and you just keep working at it, it's like anything in life. I think passion is the biggest thing. <laughs>